right, so welcome everybody to my home office tour. Um, this is what my office looks like when the clutter builds up. Usually you can't see it on the screen, but I'm giving you an overview of what my office looks like before I set up for the holiday. Um, this is my hallway leading to the front door, and what you see are some decorations for the porch for my office and for the living room. So I like to switch out my reefs. Um, I got all of my decor from Hobby Lobby and I pretty much switch them out about three to four times a year. I'm taking down the fall decorations, but I'm still in love with the black and white look. So we're gonna keep that for Christmas. And I also bought these containers from Target for about four to five dollars. And what I am doing is figuring out creative ways of how to store the things from previous seasons so that it is easier to find. And so I usually keep the wrapping paper. I put everything back wrapped up. I also have spring decorations and then we store all these things in our garage. I'm also cleaning up a lot of the declutter in my office um, that typically people can't see when I'm on live. Um, during Christmas, we actually hid a lot of gifts in my office bathroom because it's a full-fledged bedroom. And the area that you see right now is where I'm going to rearrange my office because I need to make room for my pencil tree. Um, I decided this year to purchase two additional trees at the end of 2020 because I wanted to have two Christmas trees in the living room and one pencil tree in the office. But of course, before I put down anything new, I always make sure that my space is clean. And then we bring the whole family down to help me decorate. So um, my husband and my two kids are there and they really like the atmosphere that we create to do things as a family for Christmas. I've never ever had a tree in my office and my kids were a little confused, but nevertheless, they enjoyed honestly decorating three trees. And so um, my youngest son, there he is, Avery, he is three years old and he really wants to do everything first. Like that's the season that he is in right now. And as you can see, he's trying to help with the Christmas tree, but he's pretty much just moving around the flock, <laughs> um, the white snow on the tree. But um, we want to make sure that everybody is included with all of the decor around the home. Now this tree does not come with lights. I decided not to put the lights on the tree just because I don't want to, for example, accidentally leave the lights lit up when I leave my office and then, you know, I just want to be safe and so this is a look of the tree before we put the decorations on here I'm very minimal in terms of how many decorations go on there but now I'm going to go decorate the living room so the living room as I said um, it is gonna have two Christmas trees. We already had a seven foot uh, Christmas tree that we purchased about two years ago on Amazon. That's the tree that we've used all three years that we've lived in this tri-level home. And we also stuffed it with snow. This tree also does not come with lights. Um, the reason why I choose to get trees without lights, to be honest, is because a lot of those lights do burn out and then you end up having to go purchase lights anyway. And so we also get a lot of the decor or actually all of the decor, like those round boxes under my TV um, from Hobby Lobby. And I've also learned how to use those as storage for some of the uh, balls that go on the tree um, and things like that. Um, now what you will see my husband doing is setting up the new tree. Um, it stands seven feet. It's from a different vendor. One of the things we recognize when buying this tree is that it has a slight slant. You may not be able to see it on the tree, but we definitely, or on the video, but we definitely see it. And as you can see, we dance and having a good old time. We were uh, listening or watching the verses with Three Six Mafia and Bone Thugs and Harmony. That definitely got a little lit after the uh, DJ. Um, and then we ended up having to turn it off because the kids were right there. And we went back and watched it later when the kids went to sleep, but we just put on some, you know, best man holiday music. So I'm really hoping that you are loving the uh, Christmas decor so far. This is when it's pre-lit. And now I'm going to reveal the new Christmas decor that I got specifically for 2021. Um, excuse my slanted uh, camera, but the kids were messing with it. 
but we decided to go with black and white and then use the same decor that we did last year regarding the uh, green, red um, accent colors. Last year we used like a peach and teal color. We used that for the last two years and I wanted to mix it up just cause I felt like I wanted to switch it every other year. Um, as you can see, my eldest son primarily is helping us decorate this. The youngest son, um, we're more concerned that he will break the balls, but nevertheless, it came out great. We typically let them decorate it and then me and my husband will go back and move around the decor just so that the uh, Christmas tree looks full. So I hope you enjoyed it. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm.